Hello, one. I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So glad you're here today. We're continuing on with videos that have to do with self-care, that has to do with personal foundation, and what all that looks like. Um, I have been, in the past couple of videos, talking about this simply because there's a lot of need for us having really good self-care and what that looks like. And so I wanted to I wanted to pass along things that I have found out that work for me in my life, hoping that you may be able to glean something from this and or tweak it to maybe fit your life. Uh, there are this by this is not by all means all that there is, but I want to share what I have found out and used in my life. So let's begin. This next one has to do with restore integrity. Uh, a lot of people have issues with their own integrity, and so it's 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 something that we really need to take a look at. So what I have written down in my notes is to be our best, we must be whole. That is, we must be responsible for our actions and our inactions, respond fully to the lessons being offered to us, good or bad, honor our bodies and ourselves, and respect the realities of the physical universe. Now, when a person is in integrity, number one, he or she experiences fewer problems. Number two, constant feelings of peace, health, and emotional balance are present. And number three, he or she reacts to others very little. So what happens when one is out of integrity? Okay, well, number one, disturbances occur regularly. And number two, others are blamed, criticized. One reacts a lot to others, which means you, you go on and on about whatever the situation that you're dealing with, and you just, you won't let it go. Uh, a lot of people walk around holding madness their whole life. They're mad at the world their whole life. They don't like themselves. They don't like anybody. It's, it's, really, it's, really, it's really a sad way to live. So I want to give you what I have found out, 10 Steps of Restoring Integrity Wholeness. This has worked for me in the past. I'm not saying this is all that there are, but these are 10 that I want to share with you. So let's begin. So here we go. Make a list of the 10 ways you are currently not in integrity. Next, get to the source of each and every one of them and resolve them all fully. Now, this is hard work, but it's doable work. And you know what? Let me let me say this. It's hard starting out, but at, once you get going in this and the feeling that you walk away from and the joy that you walk away and the peace that you walk away from, it gets easier and you start feeling better about it. The next one is dedicate yourself to start living in integrity as you see it, not as what somebody else tells you it is. Okay, let go of at least 10 shoulda, coulda, wouldas, ought to, and wills. I shoulda done this, I coulda done this, I woulda, wished, I wished, I woulda done that. Yeah, I oughta done that. Let go of at least 10 of them. Involve a strong person, whether it be a coach, a mentor, to be able to help you. You don't have to go this alone. Okay, I didn't when I was I I when I when I was going through this I I had um, a a person um, a counselor to help me in regards to involving another individual and helping me to get to get past some things that I'd been holding on to my shouldas my couldas or wouldas or my ought tos. So involve someone. Nothing wrong with that. Someone that you trust. And, and you know what? A lot of times, the person that I involved in my journey was someone I didn't know. Because I didn't want, I didn't, I did not feel safe 
with anybody that already knew me. So I, I wanted someone that didn't know anything about me. There, that way there could be no, there, there could be, there could be no uh, issue between me or them. And, you know, people are human. Well, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't know that about her. You know, I didn't think that about, they may not say it, but they're thinking about it. So a lot of times I think it's best to help, have people to help you that really don't know who you are, don't know anything about you. That way there's no judgment. There's no condemnation. You don't feel no shame from going to somebody that does know you. Just, just saying, just saying, that's what I did. Okay. Um, start getting 50% more reserve than you feel you need. And what I mean by that is we're talking about, we're talking about restoring integrity and wholeness. What does, what, what, what would make you think that you would be complete and filled up in your integrity? What does that look like to you? And you may, you will have to do some of your own exploration and discovery in regards to this. But get 50% or more reserve than you feel you need. A lot of times, and you may think, well, my integrity is, I don't, you know, it has to do, it, maybe, it's, maybe it's related to money. Not a problem. If your integrity, some of your integrity, a lot of, a lot of times our integrity does lie. Money does play a part in our life. So what would that look like? Do you need to take, okay, you can add up how much, you're, uh, how much you make a month. Income, what your income is a month, what you bills are every month okay and then what's left over how can you take what's left over and save x amount of dollars or do you need to go get a part-time job to help you with that just saying and i've i've done this i have done this okay stop hanging out with people who are not the best models for you to hang out with Sometimes it's just that simple. Sometimes you can start on that one first because these are in no in particular order. Sometimes you can just start on that one first and a lot of times that'll take care of a lot of the rest of the things. You know what I mean? Um, eliminate adrenaline and other unhealthy issue, rushes in your life. Now... I don't know what gets your adrenaline up. It may be a drug. And sometimes it could be a absolute, an actual drug stimulant, or it may be an individual. You know, <laughs> sometimes a, a person may be our drug. I've been there, you know, thinking that you have to have this person in your life. And a lot of times this person is our drug and they're really, really, really not good for us. They're really actually bad for us. Sometimes if you just do that, when you stop hang, take the one before, stop hanging out with people that are not your best role models and stop and stop dealing with people or hanging out with people that's your that is your uh adrenaline that makes you make unhealthy and rash life decisions, sometimes that's all it that's sometimes you can start with those two. You've got maybe 50, 60, or 75%, whatever that looks like, battle one in regards to restoring your integrity. Uh, the next one, let go of everything that you know is not good for you. And you know what that is. We all have an inner conscience, whether we like it or not. But there is a knowing. You, we all have a spirit in us. We're created with the spirit. We all have a spirit with us and there is a knowing, there is an unction that lives inside of us and says, um, don't walk that way. Let go of everything that you know that is not good for you. And the la and the, this, this is the last one. You get to make your choices but you don't get to choose your consequences. Think about that. You get to make your choices, whatever that is, whatever that looks like. But you don't get to choose the consequences of it. So, 
Go out and make it a great day. I'm glad I found you. Glad you found me. Share this with someone. Let somebody know it. Hopefully this works out. Uh, will work out for you as much as it, and great as it worked out for me. I still incorporate these things even till today in my daily life. And you know what? I, I may not be where I need to be, but I thank God I'm not where I used to be. And so it's every day, every day the sun comes up, gives us another chance for a new beginning every day. So go out and make it a great day. I'll see you again next week. Bye.